so the next object tool to look at is the pen tools so when you come to your main toolbar you can see pen tools and you can always tear it down so the first one that you see is draw curve you can always select it and you can draw your curve now just like we did for the other objects you can right click and choose whichever way you need it to look like and it will help you so you can go for shaded you can also go to object settings and change whatever that you need as we've previously shown so that is basically how to also use the pen tools to maybe do freehand sketch let's come back again and there is also the edit curve which you can use to edit so you can use it to edit your curve as you go and it's helpful if you need it for any 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 tool so that is all for pen the next one is also how to select usually i use the marquee tool and it gives you like a rectangular selection and you can move this around you can use this to maybe resize so yeah so maybe if you want to resize it gives you in percentage wise and also in terms of rotating it will give you an angle y so you see it's 20s 30s 40s 50s then you can rotate it around as well so that is basically what you can do you can also use the lasso for selection which is freehand as well so that is this two over here other important thing that i would like to share is the object the object menu so you can see that you can maybe draw some chains let's 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 just draw let's just draw a chain and then so the first one is you can come in and you see you can apply settings from so let's select this one and come over apply settings from so you can choose whichever general or settings that you need and it will it will change how it looks so you see change the paper size it will change the bond angles and all those stuff so it's also something interesting to note you can always change that as well you can also come in and there are like fixed length fixed angles so you can choose that attach data annotate align distribute add frames as well and rotate so you can play around so any object that you draw you have this toolbar or you have this menu to help you kind of either you want to scale so this is 100 percent you can scale it to let's say 200 percent or whatever point that you need it's also a, a nice tool to have there are others like group join so let's let's try an example let's just draw a simple hydrocarbon so let's do c and let's complete this okay and let's just copy this one and paste it so now we have two of them now if for some reason you drew two different things but you want to join them you just come over and select them at so you select around the bond to select and you come to your object menu now you see join is selected and it just joins everything for you yeah let's undo this and same you can also select everything if you want to now these are two different objects but if you want to group them together you can just go ahead and group and now it becomes one object that you can move around in your workplace so this this tool is also very important to help you play around with your work the same way that object is important also curve is important so when you draw curve as we've done previously so let's just draw any um let's just draw any curve and you can oh let me 
maybe here and then let's also draw this one here okay so you can just come in and come to the curves so you just as you right click and you see all these things you can also come to the curve menu and change all these as well and add many other features to it as well the same thing for colors so you can also come to colors and now it's black you can change it to red you can go to other you can ring fill so it's something interesting that you can always play around with so that would be all for objects and see you in the next lecture